to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I just jumped into this workout and didn't really have any intro before this. I didn't really do anything exciting. I was just working on eating. Um, but then I went to the gym uh, in the afternoon. And a lot of people have been asking how I warm up or what my stretches are like. And I don't really have like a routine that I do every single time. Um, but for leg day especially, I tend to do just like a tad more stretching. And this is after doing 15 minutes on the elliptical as my like blood flow warm up. Um, so yeah, so I do a bit of rolling really just to get the blood flowing. I heard one time I was supposed to do this before the workout and not after because it actually gets the blood flowing, which is good for the workout and not great for the post workout. I don't know, that's what I heard. So that's what I'm going with. Um, but I just roll out my IT bands, my quads. As you can see here, this roller, which you can't actually tell in the video, but it's one with like little bumping hill in it and it was killer so if I should have used a different one so that I could go a little bit longer but I would do about like 10 rolls does it hurt uh, but if you do a little bit longer um, to really get it going and sometimes if you want to like pause on the spot that is super tight it uh, can help get the blood flowing there to warm it up a little bit better so um, I did that then I did my hamstrings a little bit and then I did my calves which is actually the most painful and I just started doing that I did a I was at an Under Armour retreat and we did like a Fusionetics fusion I think it's called Fusionetics and it was like a test to see where you're weak and like what body parts were weak and my ankles and my calves turned out to be one of the weakest parts of my body which is super random and I had no idea but it could, probably is because of all the spin that I do but the program that they set you up, it's like this online thing and they give you um, some of the warm up, like some dynamic stretching and rolling and stuff like that. And rolling out my calves was one of them. And I've never done it before up until like this program, which was like a couple weeks ago. And it's super painful, um, but clearly need to be doing it. And that's why it hurts so much. So uh, that's what I did right here, which you can see. And I only did like five on each side because it literally just hurts so bad. Um, but doing good stretches for that after is good, but this is really just to get the blood flowing. So I do um, about, however long this was, like five minutes of rolling, and then I move into just like normal stretching, um, just because my hips are always really tight, and I want to get that worked out as well before I go into the actual workout. So my or static stretches aren't really that exciting and obviously you can do whatever kind of stretches you want but people are asking what I do so I just quickly went through them um, mostly revolving around my hips and glutes um, as you can see as you walk through this mostly because I am doing a leg day but also like I said my those are what's always tight and so I feel like I need to stretch those out. Um, but yeah, you can hold them. I think it's just a stretch for like 45 seconds each. I don't do that. Um, so really take it how you want. Um, but yeah, so I'll just let you watch this. These were my stretches that I did. And then I went upstairs and went into my actual leg workout. <laughs>
workout, um, I started with leg swings, which is a continuation of the stretching and rolling that I did before. Um, sometimes this is what I do before the static stretching, like I'll do the leg swings and then just at the bar I'll do all of the other stretches, but today because I was doing it in the video, um, I did it the other way around, which is probably better for my hips now that I think about it. Um, but I do about 10 each of the swings and feeling extra tight then do a couple more, but it really just gets your hip mobility going, uh, which is what I really like about it. Um, you can also do, which I don't show here, but you can do some air squats or lunges, just walking around, just getting the blood flowing before you go and lift any of the heavy weights. So I just did normal back squats here after my warm up. Um, you can start with the bar and just work your way up, but I just went straight into the 95, 95, yeah, 95 um, um, squats and I did 12 reps really just to warm up and get the feel of the movement and everything figured out. And what I did today, I always switched up like the weight or the number of reps just like kind of feeling. And, um, as I share after the workout, actually, it wasn't like the most ideal leg workout, which was a little bit disappointing, but um, instead of pushing myself to lift heavier weights and not being able to, um, I did one set of 12 with the 25s to warm up, and then I did five sets of six reps at 35 pounds on each side, um, just so that my form was there, but also still getting a decent weight on there. Usually I'll do... Um, I'll up the weight as I go, but for today I just did more sets of the reps at the same weight. Um, it's good to switch it up, get your muscles thinking, um, and it just felt better today. just wasn't feeling super strong, so that was what we're doing. And these tights now that I'm watching this video seem to be a little too through, <laughs> so shout out to Lululemon for those. Um, probably just the lights, but should always uh, double check your tights before you do squats. So good thing nobody was up here while I was doing this, except for the one guy that you can see in the mirror that comes around every once in a while. <laughs> um, so I did the back squats. Like I said, did a ton of sets of those. And then after that, I moved into Bulgarian split squats, um, which also were <laughs> really hard when I was doing these, and I'm not exactly sure why. Um, but I kept, so you can't really tell on here because of the different plates, but it was 15 pounds on each side, so, what is that, 15 pounds, 30, 75 pounds, <clears throat> which is totally up to you if you just want to hold dumbbells, you can do that as well if you don't want the weight on your back or if you don't have a squat rack or a bar. Um, I also, just to note, I keep my toe up, but I know a lot of people put their foot down. I feel like it puts too much pressure on my knee. So it's totally up to you. You want to keep your weight in your front heel so that you're really getting your um, your glutes and not leaning onto your toes, which will just hurt your knees, and we don't want that. So I did three sets of 10 on each leg, and uh, yeah, it was killer. I don't really know why my leg was so sore, but it was. It was really hard. And then after that, I moved into curtsy lunges, which if you've been watching my videos or if you see me on Instagram, you know that this is my favorite exercise. It super targets the glutes. Um, 
I love it. And today I did keep it a little bit lighter again, like I said before, just because I wasn't really feeling it and I was just like not in the mood to like put my knee or do anything stupid. So I kept it at the 75 pounds that I was using for exercise before. And I just did higher reps instead. So I did three sets of 12 reps on each leg. Without any pauses, without anything, just full reps. Um, just to really dig into the glute muscle. They are my favorite. Again, you want to keep your weight and your heel in your front foot and make sure your knee is staying as straight as possible just because you are putting the other foot behind and twisting it a little bit. If it hurts your knee, don't do it. Just step back into a regular lunge. And then following that exercise, I did a superset. Um, just a little bit of hamstrings to throw in here. So I did um, 12 reps of a straight leg deadlift, or maybe a deadlift, whatever you prefer to do. Um, didn't change the weight, this was more just for the superset and to do a little bit of hamstring work. So I did that with 95 pounds. Uh, again, do as much as you want or you're feeling you could actually keep it at the 75 pounds if you want, but just focus on the muscle and squeezing at the top to really engage it. And then I did 15 uh, kettlebell swings. And the kettlebell was actually like a tad light, uh, but once I picked it up, I was like, well, here we go. And we're stuck in it. So we did. I did 15 with this kettlebell. I could have done a little bit heavier, but you just want to focus on the weight in your heels, as I keep saying, you just don't want that on your toes and your knees, and then squeezing at the top when you bring the weight up. And it took me a really long time to realize that this exercise was about your hamstrings and not your arms at all, so just keep that in mind. And then I finished off my workout if you've been following along on Instagram. Um, I've been doing a whole bunch of lunges. So today I did 15 minutes of lunges. Um, if you listen to a podcast, I say it in the, right after this, but if you listen to a podcast, it's Okay, so I just finished at, the, finished at the gym, and I'm dying of heat, and I have the sweater on, because the Raptors won, and I didn't watch the game, but I have a sweater, so I'm wearing it. Um, finished. It was like, I don't know, you know, you just like pump yourself up for leg day, and then it's just like so disappointing, like 95% of the time. It was a fine leg workout, I made myself do it, but like, I find... I feel like that girl was she's walking by but I feel like she was at the gym um anyways I feel like when I do like day in the morning before I eat I actually can lift heavier and it's a better workout than like today it's four o'clock now but I started at like two probably like 2 45 really by the time I actually like started lifting stuff but um I just find that I I had like breakfast and I had carbs and I had like my normal food and it was healthy and I felt good but like I feel like I can just lift so much more heavier when I'm haven't eaten yet so noted don't do leg days on Sunday afternoon although no one's at the gym so it was great that's how I could film it because nobody was up there but anyway okay so that I need to do leg day when I don't eat and the second thing is I did 15 minutes of lunges today as opposed to just 10 and uh, probably could do 30 lunges are like my legs were fine like obviously it's hard but it's not like just got to keep going kind of thing. And so I did 15 minutes um, and I could do 30, but the problem is, and this is why I don't run, is because I just like get t bored of it. Like it's just so tedious and you're just like, okay, like I'm tired of, like I'm not t physically tired, I'm just like my brain is tired of doing this. So I did 15 minutes. What I found, so if you are going to do this, because like it's awesome, it's kind of like cardio, but you're still getting like your lunges, your butt in, you know, uh, listen to a podcast. It goes by way faster because like the first few days I did it, I was like counting my lunges because I needed to do something to like take away from just like doing lunges and literally I was doing like 360 lunges which is crazy but when you listen to a podcast you actually like either you're listening to the podcast or you're counting so if you just listen to the podcast it goes by way faster especially if you're listening to one that is interesting so that's my tip uh find a podcast that you're interested in listen to that while you're doing lunges it goes by so much faster and just have it like to keep track of the time instead of like checking your phone and checking your phone because then your brain is just like, oh my God, we still have 12 minutes left. Just put it on like timer, like your phone, if you have an iPhone, if you have a Samsung, I have no idea, but iPhone, put it on timer, do 15 minutes. And then as the like alarm, you just say to like turn off your music or podcast, like and it'll just turn it off for you at 15 minutes so that you know when it stops that it's done. So that's my hot tip of the day for 
lunges. Um, but now I'm going to go to the grocery store and I do just like a mini haul. Um, I'm on a super budget right now because uh, I had to pay my taxes and I didn't save for my taxes for the whole year. So I owed like 11 grand and didn't have anything saved. So uh, yeah, my credit cards are maxed, don't have any money. Uh, it's been kind of a struggle. Did go to Coachella, that didn't help the situation. Um, but yeah, so I have no money. So we've been on a budget and I don't just buy random shit at the grocery store anymore, uh, which you think would be common sense, but shopping is fun. Like I like buying kind of things. You're like, oh, maybe we'll try this, we'll try this. And then you just like never really eat all of it. None of that anymore, okay? Mini haul on a budget. I will show you what I get. Um, so yeah. Let's go do that. Okay, so I just got home. I'm gonna do a quick little, quick little grocery haul. It's not cheap like I said it was going to be. Uh, it was like $115, which um, is actually pretty average, but I kind of trying to go cheaper than that. But I bought a ton of meat um, for myself, but also for Chris. So. Um, that's why it's not as cheap as I wanted to, but I'll take you through it anyway, um, just to kind of show you the kind of food that we buy. Uh, this was basically what we buy every week, uh, minus like eggs and egg whites and like almond milk and stuff. So it's not like full grocery haul because like I have some stuff already. Um, but this is the stuff that we go through every week, so I will show you that. Okay, so let us, and these are all reused plastic bags so yeah I have plastic bags but that's why they're from every different store because we're trying to use them so uh, chicken thighs uh, we don't really do chicken breasts anymore because they're dry and disgusting if you've ever had a microwave like a three-day-old chicken breast it's really disgusting and I bought a ton okay I didn't really go through this before I started this video so it's gonna be random but I bought a few different sausage I always try to buy spalumbo or some sort of like natural as natural as you can get with sausage um, which I don't know what other bag they're in over here. So those ones were Italian. These ones are chicken apple. If you live where they sell splumbos, chicken apple is the best one. Plus they're chicken, so it's a little bit like leaner and less fatty. Uh, these ones are Spanish chorizo. Uh, because chorizo is delicious, basically. And then, okay, I think that was all the sauces I got. I got Beyond Meat burgers, mostly just because they sell them. And I just found them. And I don't have to go to AW to buy them, even though I like AW better. But we're gonna try them. Um, we do tend to eat a lot of like burgers, and usually I just buy them like pre made into burgers. However, we've decided we've been eating too many burgers in the last like few months. So, just got some plant based ones just to like see how they taste at home and not at AW. Um, I got Chris uh, steak. I don't eat steak, but Chris eats steak. So, that's probably what was like really expensive in this. And then I think that's all the meat. Meat, okay, so for vegetables, I'm trying to eat like more vegetables. I got spinach, I eat a spinach smoothie every day. Cucumbers, which are great for just like in the car, you know, like when you're hungry, but like not really, and you're kind of going somewhere, cucumbers. Um, avocados, a pineapple, because pineapple's my favorite fruit. Lemons, because I drink lemon water every day. We got, bananas. I bought a couple yellow ones and then some green ones so that they don't all just turn brown. I got some oranges for fun. I don't normally eat oranges, but they just like look good. You know, they're on sale. And I got some broccoli. And this is like how I buy. Just like little, like this is basically like two days of broccoli um, because Chris eats other vegetables. It's all very like small portions. This is part of my new budget is to actually just like buy for the week so that stay on budget plus then I get fresh stuff rather than it like all going bad. And then I got some tomato sauce because I made meatballs today and I didn't have any sauce. So this is just like natural gluten-free tomato sauce. So this is the majority of what we get every week. We're not very exciting when it comes to cooking because I don't cook, we just eat like everything very separately. So meat and vegetables, is really what we eat. Um, like I said, egg whites, eggs, almond milk, cottage cheese, and oatmeal, I guess, is probably the other things that I eat, but otherwise, this is what we get. Thanks for watching. I hope you're inspired by the vegetables or just fresh produce in general. Um, that'll be the end of this video. I hope you liked it. 
Hope you enjoyed the workout. And now I'm going to just five o'clock. Uh, I'm around my parents' house for dinner because it's Sunday. Uh, so I don't have to cook. I'm just going to put this all away, go shower, get ready to go to my grandparents' house. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.